World War II, the technology that facilitated the victories of the Allies more than any other was the breaking of the Enigma Code used by Germans and the Japanese. Knowing enemy troop movements in advance contributed to many significant Allied victories. Similarly, in a disaster or emergency, knowing the severity, extent, and possible duration of the event could be the key to your survival. Disasters and emergencies are inherently communication nightmares, where getting immediate access to information can be critical to saving lives. We find that phone lines are overloaded, misinformation is rampant, and chaos has disrupted normal channels. However, there are some things you can do to reduce the confusion and anxiety that often results from a disaster. First, reduce the need to communicate by having a written plan for an immediate response to some of the more common threatening situations. A workable plan would include actions for family members at home, but should also include plans for rendezvous locations for family members who may be at school or work when a situation develops. Having a primary and secondary rendezvous location would help everyone get together if gathering at home is not possible. Your plan should include informing a network of friends or family of your whereabouts and situation if possible. Second, have one or more portable radios. The information you get from radio stations could be the key to your survival. Have plenty of extra batteries for your portable radio if it doesn't have a hand crank to keep it charged. Radios with short wave bands, in addition to the FM and AM bands, are a plus in that they can receive stations from far outside the affected disaster area. A CB radio can also be useful in gathering information on conditions within 10 or 15 miles. Ham radios although they require a license to transmit, can be used as listening devices and will tie you into a vast network of emergency responders. A set of FMRS radios could be of use, but have limited number of channels and a range of only a couple of miles. Finally, search out as much information as possible from as many sources as possible, but be skeptical about the information you gather. Look at everything under a different light and know that disaster situations can deteriorate quickly and what was useful two hours ago may no longer be helpful. But what you do know can help you make wise decisions and alleviate some of the anxiety and panic that comes with the unknown.